Aim to measure the strength of an electric current in an electric circuit using tangent galvanometer and find the reduction factor of the tangent galvanometer apparatus. Tangent galvanometer, commutator, rheostat of range 1 to 20 ohms, battery eliminator, ammeter, plug key. Spirit level, connecting wires, and a thread. A tangent galvanometer consists of a circular coil mounted vertically on a metal box. A circular coil is capable of rotation about vertical axis. The coil of wire has terminals at the base of the instrument. They are 2, 50 and 500 respectively. At the center of the coil, a box magnetometer compass box is mounted. It is also capable of rotating about vertical axis. The base of the instrument is provided with three leveling screws. Principle. Tangent galvanometer is an instrument that works on the principle of tangent law in magnetism. B is equal to BH tan theta, where B is equal to magnetic field of the induction due to the current flowing in the coil of the tangent galvanometer. BH is equal to horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field of induction. Theta is equal to angle subtended by the magnetic needle. B is equal to mu naught ni by 2r where n is equal to the number of turns in the circular coil i is equal to current in the circular coil mu naught is equal to permeability of free space r is equal to radius of the coil therefore mu naught ni by 2r is equal to bh tan theta i is equal to 2r bh by mu naught n into tan theta as k reduction factor of the tangent galvanometer is equal to 2r bh by mu naught n therefore i is equal to k tan theta Now, the tangent galvanometer is made to be perfectly horizontal by means of a spirit level. Place the spirit level on the compass box so that it is parallel to the line joining any two leveling screws. The bubble in the spirit level should be in the center. The spirit level is turned 90 degrees in line with the third screw. It is again adjusted. So that the bubble is again at the center. Thus, the tangent galvanometer is made horizontal. The plane of the circular coil made parallel to the magnetic needle. Then the compass box is rotated to make the aluminum pointer read 0, 0. So these are the adjustments to be made before conducting the experiment.
reduction factor of the galvanometer. Now, let us measure the reduction factor of the galvanometer. K is equal to 2R BH divided by mu naught N. R is equal to radius of the coil. N is equal to number of turns which is 50. Mu naught is equal to permeability of the free space which is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. BH is equal to horizontal component of earth's magnetic induction field which is 0 0.38 into 10 power minus 4 oyster. Radius of the coil can be measured by finding the length of the coil. The length of the coil can be determined with the help of a thread. L is equal to 2 pi r which is 48 centimeters. Therefore, r is equal to 48 divided by 2 pi. Therefore, r is 7.74 centimeters. Substituting the value of r, n, mu naught and bh in the equation, k is equal to 2 r bh divided by mu naught n. We get k is equal to 0 0.0936. The value of k is equal to 0 0.0936. Here, the value of the ammeter reading A is 0 0.1. The deflections in the tangent galvanometer theta 1 44, theta 2 45, theta 3 48, and theta 4 48. The value of the mean theta is 46.28. The value of tan theta is 1.0. 0392. The value of i is 0 0.0973. Similarly, the values for the ammeter reading 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 are as follows. Precautions. Tangent galvanometer once adjusted should not be disturbed. Readings should be noted without any parallax error. The glass top of the compass box may be gently tapped to overcome the friction between pivot and the needle whenever the readings are taken. The connection of the ammeter should be checked to ensure clear indication of current. Suitable range of ammeter should be taken. Magnetic materials should not be kept near the tangent galvanometer. The rheostat is arranged away from the tangent galvanometer.